What is Revolt and how do you get started? Revolt is an alternative to Discord. It's open source and it's soon to be N10 encryption. Well, soon to add N10 encryption to notes, save notes, groups, and direct messages, which is a great feature because encryption is always welcome. It's something that Discord will probably never add. And Discord will never go open source just to do just to do how much unethical activities they are involved in. But Overall, Revolt is actually a pretty good alternative currently. It's um, currently in beta, so it probably won't handle if you have a super large community at this current stage. But I'm sure in the future, they'll upgrade their servers and it'll be on the equivalent scale or the scale rising to the scale that Discord's at, which is where it can handle hundreds, thousands, if not close to a million people eventually. But if you want to join the beta to check it out, you can go to join public beta. You can press continue. It's going to ask you for an email and password. You want to make sure you go to create new account first. And then your email and password goes right here. I'm going to use a temporary email. And I'm going to use Bitwarden to generate a temporary password. I do recommend Bitwarden. It's a password manager. Create strong passwords. And I already have a Revolt account, so I'm going to use a temp email currently for this video. So once you type that in, it's going to ask you for HCAPTCHA, which just to verify you're not a bot, so you're not spamming their, their servers. Um, and then some of these are very very like close to each other. So this one's a bedroom. And then once that has been verified, it's going to send you an a email, a confirmation email. So you want to hop in your email. It'll take a while. To, like it varies in time. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes, so... There it is right there. So it took about 30 seconds. Sometimes this link is clickable, sometimes it's not. For this email, it's not clickable, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it. While that's pasting, I'm gonna copy my email again. And it'll bring you to this page right here, the login. You just wanna paste your email and your password that you used. Then you press login. It's gonna ask for another HCAPTCHA. Just to verify you're not a bot these are kind of annoying I feel like they should only do one but what can you do so we're gonna go ahead and verify that we aren't a bot and there you go so now you want to pick your username um I don't know we'll make ours like a let's see test video hopefully no one has this username continue so our username is test video and yeah they have a just like kind of how discord does it they have a once you log in or once you come back to the app they show you the blog post on what they added new they did add 2fa i do recommend this highly especially if you use other media platforms such as social media like instagram snapchat or whatever there is um what it does it creates a unique code every 30 seconds that only you have access to if you have the authenticator downloaded so how you do that in Revolt is you go to bottom left settings, then you go over here to add authenticator. You want to type in your password, your paste your password in. Press confirm, and now it's going to show you this code. You can scan it with your authenticator, or you can manually type in this seed right here. Do not share this with anybody because it will give them access to your account. Some authenticators I recommend is Tofu for iOS, so it is spelled T O F U. This is open source and it's secure. And for Android, I recommend an OTP. It's open source and secure too. And if you want like a cloud solution, um, I do recommend Bitwarden. Although you can't get it unless you have the paid edition, which is ten dollars a year. But it's a great password manager and it does your two two FA keys for you too. That's what I use. So yeah, this is a Revolt. Um, it's pretty cool. You can create groups. You discover other servers. You can join the tester server, so we'll go ahead and join that right now. So, this is Revolt's official server. It's for all the beta testers, and they have channels and everything. They have a welcome log. The join who leaves, just like how Discord kind of has it, where you can see who joins and leaves. They have bots, all kinds of stuff. They have bots, and they have a voice channel. You can join voice, top right to join, currently, and top left to leave, or top right to leave, so you can mute. You can unmute your mic. I'm not gonna do that because there's a lot of people in the server. You can disconnect from call right here, and you can search servers and discover Revolt. You can search like any category you like. Like let's say you're interested in gaming, you can type in gaming, 
and then you got all these gaming servers right here now revolt just started out I believe it's still early beta but there are a lot of servers and even in the revolt like, let's see we go to discover revolt and this server has a thousand members this one has 17,000 so there is quite a bit of people oh look there's a 3d printing gun server that's crazy uh, what else is there some other servers there's all kinds of servers there's a game server right here based off a game a lot of Linux servers um, discord themes oh speaking of revolt you can actually add custom themes to it so let's say you don't like this theme you can make your own theme or you can download a theme from the discover page and there's all these themes right here hundreds and hundreds of hundreds well that there will be hundreds and hundreds of hundreds right now but it's basically whatever your heart desires and how you would do that once it's added there should be a theme section here wherever it is appearance you also change your emojis color your appearance right here this is where your themes would be you have different voice settings so wherever you, you have to grant out in the browser so you have to grant permission so you just press grant permission and then you can add it right here those are my mic blue snowball yep your sessions I'm not going to click that because it just shows IP address your profile you can add a custom picture um, a banner and your description and then all kinds of things notifications now let's say you do want to add revolt as a desktop app you don't want to use a web interface like I am right now you're gonna to go to bottom left in settings you can go to source code now this is kinda of like an unofficial way they haven't added an official like download button but this is where all their links are this is their github page it's where you can find all the open source code if you know how to read it you can see how the app works and everything but you're gonna be navigating right here and now you can go under get revolt and this is the web app or the PWA. A PWA is whenever you go to Safari on iPhones and you click add to home screen, it'll add the icon to your home screen so it's like a quick access. So you can just click it and it opens it. They also have a Microsoft Web Store. They have a Arch Linux, a Flat Hub, an AnyDesk, and Android for Google Play and F Droid. I do recommend F Droid though over Google Play just because it includes less tracking elements, which makes the app more faster. Now, here's the roadmap right here. This is their um, official roadmap right here. They do have two, a project tracker and roadmap. The roadmap's pretty cool because it shows you that they're adding N10 encryption right here. It is in planned features, so after they finish this stuff, and I'm sure this stuff, they'll add N10 encryption. Hopefully they stick to their word. Uh, they plan to encrypt save notes, gr groups, and direct messages. Currently, they are working on emoji reactions and different things like custom emojis and yeah they also plan to overhaul the voice and they add video calling which would be pretty cool but that's revolt guys um i plan to make more videos on how to add bots and make a server and everything but definitely give revolt a try because discord is pretty unethical you can just search it up on youtube how discord is unethical and everything they do but yeah this is a great alternative I know there is matrix but matrix does get very like it gets confusing for the end user unless you're like a little bit techy so this is a good alternative to it especially since it's open source so it's a step in the right direction and once they add end to end encryption it'll be an even greater step in the right direction so yeah that's revolt it's free you can use it while you game and everything or you can use it just to create a server um, there's all kinds of communities that aren't gaming. So yeah, thanks for watching.